Assalamu alaikum and good day. Today we are going to talk about fat. Fat have some interesting properties that gives a variety of uses in our daily life. For example, wax. It is a lipid and is used in a variety of everyday products such as candles, chewing gum and even nail polish. Some waxes are used in ointments, hand creams and even cosmetics. Saturated fats will remain solid at room temperature while unsaturated fats will remain so liquid. This is because unsaturated fats contain one or more double bond and fewer hydrogen atoms on their carbon chains. It is beneficial because it can help reduce high cholesterol levels which prevents conditions like heart disease and stroke. Fat also help the body absorb certain vitamins such as vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K. Fat have some potential applications in the industry such as nutraceutical and surfactants. Nutraceutical are food or part of food that provides medical or health benefits including the prevention or treatment of a disease. This includes cosmetic and pharmaceutical products. Nutraceutical has advantage over the medicine because they avoid side effects, have natural dietary supplement and easily available. Products such as fish oil and vitamin have been in the market since the beginning of the 20th century. Today's better understanding of the biological properties of lipid and their application has extended to combine pharmaceutical and cosmetic fields. Nutraceutical in the form of vitamin, mineral, antioxidants, dietary fiber and omega-3 together with physical exercise are recommended for prevention and treatment of cardiovascular diseases. Plant rich in isoflavones also inhibit prostate cancer cell growth. Vegetables and fruits that contain lycopene exert cancer protective effect via a decrease in oxidative stress and damage to DNA. This can be found in tomatoes, guava, watermelon and papaya. Lipids are also used as surfactant. Surfactants are one of many different compounds that make up a detergent. The term surfactant comes from the words surface active agent. Surfactants function by breaking down the interface between water and oil or dirt, which allow their removal. They are able to act this because they contain both hydrophilic and hydrophobic group. Surfactant have interesting properties such as lower toxicity, higher degree of biodegradability, higher forming capacity and optimal activity at extreme conditions of temperature, pH level and salinity. This attracts the attention of scientific and industrial community. A well-known example of surfactant is soap, but surfactant are also found in detergent, lubricant, inks, anti-fogging liquid, herbicide, dishwashing liquids and even shampoos. The human body even produces surfactants known as pulmonary surfactants. The lungs produce surfactants at the cellular level to aid in the breathing process by helping keep airways open. Triglycerides, cholesterol and other essential fatty acids which is fat or lipid in scientific term, have some functions to our cell or organism which can store energy, insulate us and protect our vital organs. They also act as messenger and help it, helping our proteins to do their jobs. They also start chemical reaction involved in growth, immune function, reproduction and other aspects of basic metabolism. But I just want to explain more about insulation and protect our vital organs. So for insulation, the extra fat seems to insulate the body's core. Under certain conditions, overweight people might feel colder than people of average weight. That is because the brain combines two signals which is the temperature inside the body and the temperature on the surface of the skin which is to determine when it is the time to constrict blood vessels which is limits heat lost through the skin and triggers shivering which generates heat. And since subcutaneous fat trip heat, an obese person's core will tend to remain warm. Obese uh, person's core will tend to remain warm while his or her skin core cools down. That is why obese person will rarely feel cold and they will be easily sweating. This insulation also can help against cold and padding so our bones don't green on the surface we sit on or lean on. The next one is fat helps us to protect our vital organs. Many of the vital organs, especially kidney, heart and intestine are cushioned by fat that help pro protect them from injury and hold them in place. As a tribute to the body's own protective wisdom, this protective fat is last to be used when the body's energy reserves are being tapped. But when you have too much fat, it instantly can block your blood vessels and that will be danger because your organs would not receive enough blood and that will make them stop from functioning. It also has protective shades around all nerves fiber and it is anti-inflammatory which is 
now being recognized universally as the primary culprit behind all disease and illness. So for the conclusion, we can see that uh, we need fat for our body to have very fit, to have some benefits on it and all that people have said that fat are bad or are wrong unless you have eat too much until it can change your the way you live. So that is uh, that is just dangerous. It is also it it is also have many uses and pot properties that we can use to solve our problem from health problem to industrial problem. So thank you.